Hi, I'm Rod. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be listening to The Drones Perform Boredom. I think this is their official music video. Um, I know of The Drones. I've never really paid that much attention to them. Um, um, more familiar with Gareth Lydiard's work with Spencer P. Jones than any of his own work. Um, so I believe they are a punk band. Uh, let's find out. So that was the drones with boredom. Not what I was expecting. Um, I was expecting something uh, much more punk than that. I guess much more guitar. Um, it seemed to be influenced by. Um, at least some influence to hip hop, but he's kind of the way he sings. Though I think he may do that a lot, but not just in this song. 
Uh, so a bit about the band. The Drones were an Australian rock band formed in Perth by mainstay lead vocalist and guitarist Gareth Lydiard in 1997. Fiona Kitchen, his domestic partner, joined on bass, guitar and vocals in 2002. Other long-term members include Rui Piera um, on bass guitar and then lead guitar, Mike Nogger on drums, vocals, harmonica and percussion, and Dan Luscombe on lead guitar, vocals and keyboards. The second album, Wait Long by the River and the Bodies of Your Enemies Will Flight By, was released in April 2005, won the inaugural Australian Music Prize. In October 2010, their third studio album, Gala Mill, released in September 2006, was released, listed at number 21 in the book 100 Best Australian Albums. Two of their albums have reached the top 20 on the ARIA charts. Uh, I See Seaweed from 2013 and Feeling Kinda Free from March 2016. The group went on hiatus in December 2016 um, with Kitchen and Lydiard forming a new group, Tropical Fuck Storm, in the following year. Feeling Kinda Free is the sixth studio album from The Drones and their final one before going on hiatus. Having grown tired of the more rock orientated sound of the band up until that point, frontman Gareth Lydiard became fascinated with both vintage and modern electronic equipment, ranging from drum machines and samplers to the teenage engineering OP1 synthesizer in conceiving the album sound. The genre-defying musical style has been, de been described as visceral and ominous, featuring a relative absence of guitars and a prominent use of electronic textures. Well, that explains why um, it wasn't what I was expecting it to be. Um, not that that's a bad thing, but um, yeah, I was had the impression that they were more of a punk band with maybe some influences of um, like blues rock and swamp rock. Uh, the shortest album at just over 40 minutes. Feeling Kind of Free received fairly positive reviews for its eclectic sound and Lydia's darker, more politically charged lyricism. It also charted at number 12 on the ARIA charts, the band's highest till date. The album went on to appear on numerous year and lists and would later be chosen by Junkie as one of the best Australian albums of the decade. Boredom has been described as being hip hop influenced with lyrics that name drop uh, welfare states and Islamic caliphates, prophesizing the imminent death of the cradle of civilization, the Middle East, as well as describing the drivers of young people joining terrorist organizations, specifically ISIS, from the perspective of a Muslim teenager living in the western suburbs. According to The Monthly, the track is partly told from the point of view of Jack Bellardi. Um, I'm guessing that's one of... There was several people that went from Australia to join ISIS and maybe he was one of them. 
Um, the, the chorus on the track has been noted for being similar to Boredom by the Buzzcocks. So I can see uh, how it has been described as hip hop influence. I um, could hear that. Um, so overall, I like this. I think I would prefer the older, more guitar oriented um, stuff, but I will definitely check out some more of their music. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you'd like to support the channel, the best way you can do that is to like, subscribe and comment. And I hope to see you in another video soon. Thanks for watching.